Welcome back to How to Authority. Now, the SIM card is one of the more essential parts of your phone, but what exactly is it and what does it do? Well, let's go over all of that, shall we? In essence, SIM card, which stands for a subscriber identity module, is a tiny little card you insert into your phone to let your service provider know which phone you're actually using, giving your phone your actual phone number as well as access to things like data and other cellular services. Now they come in four different sizes, standard SIM, mini SIM, micro and nano. And when you get your SIM card you can basically pop them out of this little mold until they are the correct size for your phone. But how exactly do you even install it? Well it's very simple, just look around for this tiny little cutout shape with a hole in it. Then use something like the included SIM removal tool or anything else that's small and sharp to just poke that hole and the SIM tray will get ejected. Simply just put the SIM card into that slot and don't worry because of the shape of it it can only go in one way and you're good to go. Now, a lot of phones now will even have two SIM slots as you have probably just seen and you can just put that SIM card into either slot it will work just fine however it does give you the extra ability to use multiple SIM cards if you prefer in your phone. But what about if your phone doesn't have it? Some phones, particularly from Apple in the US, no longer have an actual SIM tray. They only support what's known as an eSIM, basically just a digital SIM you install completely well digitally and we've done a whole video about that which you may want to check out. There's also one more form of SIM which is an integrated SIM, where the SIM card itself is basically just put onto the SOC of your phone itself, but it isn't really used too much nowadays just yet. But do you even need a SIM card? Well, mm, technically no. You can still use most of the features on a modern smartphone without a SIM card. You know, access the internet, access social media, or even do things like some voice calls via apps like, I don't know, Facebook Messenger, for example. But you won't be able to make regular phone calls, receive texts, or also use any of your data plan either when you're not connected to Wi-Fi. So it's not a necessity, though of course it does take away some of the most key parts of what makes a phone a phone. Now usually you just get the SIM card when you order your plan from whichever company you've ordered it from. And it is not tied to just a single phone. So if you get a new phone, you just eject the SIM card from the old one, put it into the new one, and your entire plan, so your phone number and everything else, will just be carried over. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about SIM cards, how they work and what they are for, and all of the different variants of them. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to Health Authority for more like this in the future.